Hi guys, if you seem a little crooked, it's because you're propped up on yarn balls, because why not? Uh, today we are going to be um, unraveling some thrifted sweaters to buy to get you the yarn. So it's a great way to get affordable, um, nicer quality yarns is to thrift some sweaters. For instance, I have this one which feels like it's a uh, acrylic cotton blend maybe. It doesn't have the tag or wool. I also have this one that's like a mohair. And then I have this one that is, this one has the tag somewhere. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's another cotton acrylic, which I have trouble finding nice cotton acrylics to work with unless I'm thrifting a sweater for whatever reason. Um, so I have three to unravel. The video that shows you best how to do this, I'll link down below. It's from Engineering Knits. Um, but when you're looking for sweaters, um, and sometimes you can find some really nice merino wool ones, cashmere, um, you want to find one that has a seam like this where the piece was knit and then stitched together like with a chain stitch. Not on this one, this is a mistake. I'm gonna unravel it anyway, but the border around the collar is done. That's the part I looked at. I didn't look at all of it. That's my mistake. But the sleeves are like this. Let's see. Can you see that? They're surged, which means it was cut. So if you if the sweater you're looking at has that, don't get that one, because that's gonna be like five million little threads. So how much yarn I'm gonna get out of this, I don't know. Um, I guess we'll find out. <laughs> anyway, let's get started. I'm gonna turn on some YouTube and start taking things apart and unraveling. I'm gonna work on this one first, because I might as well. I'll be back.
guys. I finished uh, winding up the sweaters. Um, the gray one, as I suspected, was going to be a pain. Was a pain. Um, not only did I choose poorly, um, because it was a hairy yarn, uh, pretty sure it was a natural fiber. It was really soft and really fragile. Um, it, it was a pain and took uh, a while. I did get one decent size, very thick, heavy cake out of the uh, sweater. I could probably have gotten more, but I, yeah. Um, <clears throat> I also, out of the red one, um, got three pretty good size cakes. Now, when I do have the fiber content on the sweater, which I try to always have, but I'm not always able to do that. Um, I take the fiber content label and I stick it in one of the skeins so I remember what it is. Um, and the other one, I did have a third one. I got these three and then one little baby one. I already had thrifted a sweater and um, it was another cotton acrylic blend. And I already actually made a sweater out of this. I'll put a picture here. And this is actually left from that, probably enough for another sweater, maybe a tank. I have a tank top pattern I want to try from somebody. Um, so I might do that. But yeah, I really enjoy um, the process. It is labor intensive and time consuming, but um, I don't do it all the time. But for about $10, I got six, seven and a half more uh, cakes of yarn. Um, that's a pretty good deal. Um, I seem to not have great luck with cotton blends that I want to work with unless I thrift a sweater. I don't know what the deal is. I think I just haven't come across a brand that I like yet, but anyway. Go watch Engineering Knits um, YouTube channel and her video. Um, she looks for a lot of wool sweaters. Don't blame her. I have not come across any wool sweaters that haven't been, um, accidentally felted. Yeah, I'm not going to even try and pull that one apart. Um, but I always look someday. Anyway, her, um, her channel is really inspiring and her video really gives you some great ideas on how to do this and what to look for. And yeah, I really enjoy the process. And I've got a nice pile of recycled yarn. So cool. All right, that's it for today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Check the comments for, um, uh, check the comments, check the video description for relevant links and ways to support the free content here on YouTube. Um, leave questions, comments, or concerns down below. Most important thing, go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you later. Bye, guys.